Hi guys, let's learn how to repair a washing machine. First thing we have to do is to connect it. Then, using the knob and the buttons if it has, we must check which of the functions the machine is not doing. In my case, I didn't get anything. That means I have a problem in the power supply because I don't have even a light on it. So first step is to check if there is conduction between the connector and the main block. It should be less than 1 ohm or 1 ohm. If it is okay, next step is to check the cables, all the wires. We are searching for a broken wire, one disconnected or something alike. Everything was okay, so I'm going to make a measurement of the conductivity in the cable. Remember guys, it should be 1 ohm or less than 1 ohm. This one is okay. I will test now the other one. Ready for the measurement. It should be 1 ohm or less than 1 ohm. Perfect. That means all the wires and the connection block is okay. The connection block, most of the time, is a filter. Next step will be to remove the main board. Guys, 70% of the issues like this, they are related with bad electronics components. But also, 30% of the problem is related with dirty contacts, bad connections, and fail relays. This is my board. I'm making a visual inspection on it. And this is my microcontroller. Everything looks okay. In this chip, something is wrong. There are smoke traces on it. It was easy to find the damage because the smoke. But if I cannot see something like that, I must think chips like this in power supply should be the main issue. This is the dot, the chip explodes. I'm removing the chip. And like any good professional, the first thing I'm going to do is to inspect the data sheet. It has all the information I need about this chip and with what can I replace it. So with that information, I found a company that supplies the chips. I, I bought two of them. In the midwell, I have to check and inspect all the components around this chip. This is a diode in one direction there is not conduction, inverting the leads. Now there is conduction and that's a diode. This is a healthy diode. No conduction, but what we saw was a capacitor charging. So that's okay. My next diode looks healthy. Inverting the leads. No conduction. That's okay. I have good diodes. Guys, we must remove capacitors to test them. But sometimes when we take one chip off or one component, maybe our capacitor get free connection. So that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm expecting about 0.1 microfarad capacitor. That's not the right measurement for it. I went to the big one, same situation. I must remove my components and to test them one by one.
in this side I have resistors it's a little bit hard to watch through the camera this resistor is ok and the other one it's ok too Now this is the voltage regulator, 5 volts. I'm doing a measurement of resistance. I want to ensure there is not a short circuit in the other side of the regulator. It's OK. That means all my problems, they are in the first stage of the PCB in the power supply related with these components. The first one to test 10 microfarads capacitor, this is the measurement. I went to the data sheet and I make a comparison. If the measurement of the ESR is the same or lower, it's okay to me. Second capacitor, 220 microfarads, same situation, measurement, data sheet, consultation, comparing the values. If the ESR is the same or lower, it's okay to me. Nevertheless, let's try the inductor. 1.8 millihertz. This resistor guys was open. I have a big one and it doesn't fit in the PCB but also I have two mid-size and I must make 33 ohms. I got 35.8 it's something I like maybe I can play with it. I place them in a piggyback position and let's make a test. This component is R1. It's not a resistor, it's not a capacitor. It is a very store. I make the consultation for the data sheet. This is my component. Also, I make a measurement. As a diode and as a resistor, it's open circuit, so it's okay to me. This capacitor, 22 nanofarads, it failed in the test. I use another tester and it failed too. So I have a bad component. 22 nanofarads, 250 volts, plus minus 5%, and X2 kind. I was searching for some component, components and I have something alike. Same characteristics, 275 volts, but is M is plus minus 20%. What is important, X2, that is a special character, characteristic I need for this function. Making a measurement is not too bad. I think I can use it. The triac. Do not forget, guys, it's time to remove it, make an inspection, measurements of it, and to replace the contact paste on it. Also, for bad contacts, you have to make inspection, cleaning, it's time to check relays too. My chip is back, I place it, and all the components are right now. The board is ready to be placed in the watching machine. And guys, do not forget, if this video was worthy for you and was good, do not forget to subscribe and to give a like. Thanks by watching, see you next time.